Hey guys, welcome back to Yoshi's Woolly World. And can someone please tell me why the same person is on my screen like three times? Like down there, orange chick, and up here, the bloody same orange person. And all their messages are the same thing, just random Miiverse spam. It really makes me wonder how the Miiverse, like, or the game picks which Miiverse posts it put here. You know, I should just turn, I should just turn that off, because those posts have been no help at all. But anyway, so last episode, I actually forgot to scan the second Amiibo, which was going to be Splatoon or Inkling Girl Yoshi. <laughs> the, the Inkling ones are probably some of my favorite. It really looks like you're, you know, the Inkling Girl or whatever. But, oh, Splatoon, though. Know. You know, that Splatoon's a really fun game, but I honestly got to say I've had my fill of it. Um, That could just be because I've got, like, no one to play it with, really, but... Yeah, it's definitely a good game, which I'd still recommend getting, especially if you're into online stuff. Which I'm not really, and I still enjoyed it anyway, so if that's... You know, if that tells you if it's a good game or not, then... Then even a 10 out of 10 score from IGN, because there's too much ink, wouldn't tell you that. Right, now this level, as I said last episode, is the lift level. Yay! Lifts! Although, I wish it was the lifts that were in the other game, because they're more fun. Fun, but, but that's besides the point. <laughs> no, um, when, when I'm, what I mean by that is like, you know, I remember like, um, I really wish I remember the exact levels, but I remember in Yoshi's Island, there's this one level. Uh, it's like those those platforms that are spirals that move on rails by themselves. That's what I'm talking about. Those are great. And we need more of those, but I don't, I don't think there's a single... Like, they are... The, they're, those things that I'm talking about are in this game. You know, you stand on it, and they start spinning around in a circle. But none of them are, like, auto-scrolling ones. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that none of those are. But that's, yeah, that's just, like, one loss. There's a lot of good level types in this game. So I've got... You know, I don't have much to... Oof. <laughs> that heart almost got away there. Yeah, I don't have much to complain about, anyway. And this is still a pretty good level, I must say, actually. This is probably one of the more standout levels of the world. Even though, even though right now it looks pretty plain. Like, what am I doing? I'm jumping on some penguins' heads and riding airlifts in the mountains. Actually, that... No, sp Oh, I... Alright, you're right. You have to press... <laughs> I forgot the button. Um, <laughs> uh, that, um, you know... It's, you, it's common to forget what buttons are earlier in the game, not friggin' when you're in the second last world and close to the end of it, too. I, I was pressing R to throw the egg, when I thought, like, if you press R, it'd do his tongue, but nope. <laughs> Alright, now, get that, so he goes up. And actually, this is a pretty interesting hidden thing. You got this cannon here, and that reveals a couple of beads, which one is, one, hey, I want, even though I know that's not a stamp, only that one there was a stamp. Give me that anyway. It's kind of weird, though. It's like if I'm um, in Mario, you know, you had to get all the coins, even though the coins aren't collectibles. Like, if I know where the stamps are, what, why does it matter if I get the rest of the beads? I don't... I don't have the answer to that question. <laughs> well, it's sort of like, um... Uh, what is it sort of like? I was gonna say... <laughs> well, it's sort of like, um... Because I have to play the levels myself anyway. You know, you got to get them all, so to not get them all is w weird. Actually, I need to, I need to egg one of these. Oh, we got a problem. <laughs> there we go, egged it. <laughs> well, that, that worked out better than I thought it would. Yeah, the, the patchwork bullet bills, I believe they show up in a couple more levels. But, you know, may as well get them early while we can. Okay, now, this part here. I had to, I had to replay this level myself. Yes, there's another one right here. <laughs> Because of this part here, and there's actually another part fur further up in the level. Now, I forgot to mention this, but if you're going to use a power-up for this level, I highly recommend the Fire Watermelon power-up, because of this part and one part like this later. You've got this Fire Watermelon. Now, as you can see, there's quite a big number of beads here. Now, um, you're probably going to want to... Like, there's, you can do this with only the two watermelons they supply you with here, but I kind, I kind of recommend... Um, you know, it will still be easier if you just brought a fire watermelon in. Okay, so I've got one more shot. Which I completely screwed up. Um, <laughs> I needed to hit the middle there. Ah, oh, yeah. 
if I knew, see if this is the thing, if I knew which ones were beads, this wouldn't be a problem. Well, I need to get I need to get this flower here regardless. Now I'm hoping. All right, I'm hoping none of those were beads because some of those were beads. I'm screwed. Yeah, see if I had done that properly, we would have had enough to get those two as well, and it would have worked out. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Um, who who's Alright, I bet. I bet one of those is a bead. Well, first of all, it would make sense for one of them to be, because they're up in the corner. The corner ones are usually beads. The corner on the middle, and we we got all the middle, so it wasn't a middle. But, um, poor penguin. <laughs> Penguins can't be used, to, like, you know, I'd shoot the penguin at the, the floor to turn it into a floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you can't use the penguins for that, so they just hit the spikes instead. What a glorious death. Now here, look, I showed you, I did this on purpose. I missed the third Wonder Wall. Now you're like, how did I miss the third Wonder Wall? I didn't miss the third Wonder Wall. Well, I did technically, because see, see these bullet bills, they make you come over here and you'll most likely land here and reveal this because of it. Now, hey, no hitting me. This level, um, it's sort of actually hard to do this one without, with like finishing with 20 hearts, but, uh, well, you'll see later anyway. All right, now. Don't suck up those penguins there, it's a rookie mistake. Oh yeah, that one there. Yeah, I... Oh, <laughs> uh, I just, I'm, you know, that that one I missed is definitely, like, it's so definitely a bead that I'm like, oh, why did I not get that? Oh, I got that one though. Hmm. I'm not sure how many of these ones, are, well, I don't know how much any of them are beads. It's just some of them are, some of them aren't. Uh, that's why you get all of them. And that explains why I still get all of them. Anyway, because you don't, especially if there are big piles, you don't know exactly which ones are, so you just get them all. Alright, now this is the last screen of this uh, level, I believe. Hey, get out of here, penguins. Now, that that is a bead. <laughs> now, you got there's a way to do this. Um, alright, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, I know... Yeah, that's a bead there, okay. I know which one... Like if you were, if you didn't know how to do this, the, this one up, these two up here, though none of those are beads. You don't know how to get them. So you, what you'd normally do, I guess, is get these from below. But if you're good enough, you can get both of them from the side there and save a breath. So you can. Well, if you got that one over there, you'd be out by now. If you used two on there, so you, you'd miss getting that flower if you use three before that. Yeah, the fire watermelons are only three fire breaths. If that wasn't obvious. Or, well, it's, it's not obvious, but you have to have been counting them by now, mayhaps. And if you weren't counting, I just filled you in. Okay, this is the hard part. Well, sort of. It can get a bit, um... Crowded, I want to say. <laughs> and these friggin' penguins. Well, actually, that, that went pretty good, I must say. That went pretty good, but... Again, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to replay this level anyway, so what did it matter? Now, if you did get hit there, this is hearts, but, you know, it's a question mark. They explode all over the place. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, none, none of these are beads, so, yeah, I did miss one. <laughs> that, <laughs> in the ice. Oh, well, that serves me right, eh? Don't screw with the ice. And here we have a flower. You know, to tell the truth, I kind of like it when we miss the flowers, because now I just don't have to play one of those super repetitive bonus to get beads, which we don't need, because I don't use power-ups that often anyway, so it's just a big waste of time, and it makes the episode drag on longer than it needs to. Like, yeah. <laughs> you get me? But I mean, I still I kind of get them like to get them every now and then because we get bonuses we haven't gotten before. But we've gotten this bonus several times, so it's just a complete waste of time. And um, if well, I guess I could just cut them out if I wanted, but I don't want to cut them out because it's sort of like you know I'm still doing stuff, and you know it's like I only want to cut it out if it's like repetitive. And then I guess this is repetitive. Like it's like I'll be cutting out my replaying this level to get that one bead we missed because we know exactly where it is. So it's not like I even need to show that. But I'll still probably show that anyway, because it's something, me getting something I haven't gotten before, even though I know where it is. And you guys know where it is, but I would... Mm, that's a good question. Because <laughs> I wouldn't show any of the playthrough of me getting the 20 hearts again. It could, unless I found the heart container, 
like a hidden heart mystery block we didn't find before. I wouldn't show that. Hmm. <laughs> today, today on the What Do Show in a Let's Play Club, we are joined by uh, Speaker Josh Kell as he speaks about why the hell, why is there so many ice themed Yoshis in this level? Like, I know it's the ice world, but can we cut it out? There's so many blue Yoshis, it's like really uninspired. Like, they just like, nah, I give up at this point. Like, look at this. The only unique one here is this panda one, <laughs> which is actually kind of cool. Alright, uh, anyway, time to replay this level and not show the missing stamp. <laughs> I can't believe I saved that. Thank you, set pieces. Well, that wasn't so bad. Again, it's one of those levels you can pretty quickly rush through. Oh, there, w there was this really cool part which I saved, which I'll probably show that. So there you go, show cool stuff. <laughs> that's that's the LP in code, show cool stuff. <laughs> All right, well, this whole world's cool, but that's a lame joke. Anyway, anyway, so let's, let's switch up our gender and um, go with Inkling Boy. Yeah, not much difference. I mean, the shirt logo is different and the hair is blue, but you know, on Yoshi, it's still pretty much the same. Well, the same, like, our overall design, anyway. Sniffberg, the Unfeeling's Castle. Um, that's a weird name. So, how, in what way is he unfeeling? Like, unfeeling as in emotions, or like, he's so cold? You know, his body is too numb to feel the touch, or, um, uh, he doesn't feel, like, remorse, or why are you saying, like, em emotions? Or, or does he not feel as in, you know, he just doesn't... He doesn't feel. <laughs> he, he doesn't get the feels. <laughs> um, well, I'll make sure he feels it. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's gonna happen. But anyway, so last, last um, what level? What what was that actually? Yeah, that uh, world five's level. That was a meh. That was a meh level, wasn't it? Like the whole sewer thing. I mean, I'm world four, not world five. <laughs> We're in world five. Yeah, the whole naval piranha thing, that was lame. But this, this is a, this is a much more entertaining, I must say. <laughs> well, I mean, this world does have, like, the lamest level, or the most... Well, I, I wouldn't say that maze level is that lame. It's just mazy, so <laughs> if it's your first time, it's really annoying. But, um, but, um, this level, though... This is pretty cool. It's got some crushing blocks, and um, you got to avoid the crushing blocks because they'll crush you, because they're crushing blocks. <laughs> and um, lots of, <laughs> I love. They're not really hiding stuff very well. Every single one of these ceiling dips has a has a mystery cloud in it, and so you don't even have to worry about finding missing things. And if you come up here, beads appear. And if you come up here, have a guess. All right, first of all, you gotta get out of my way. <laughs> if you come up here, more beads appear, so... Oh, and don't forget that dip in the ceiling. This time it's a pipe. I will take that pipe, thank you very much. And then again, this is a pretty interesting... Whoa, okay. Those are some big buttons you've got there. I wouldn't want to push those. So I'll just jump on top of you instead. Hey, he pushed me off here. Huh, you know, I can't believe I didn't actually mention this. Um... Because this would have been... I can't imagine I would have not mentioned this while we were playing 5-4. Um, because you remember how that worked, right? You had those, like, rotating ice blocks. This game has a bit of a... Like, I I not, I don't think we've seen it actually happen, which is kind of random, because it happened to me all the time when I was playing this myself. But when you're on... When you die... No. <laughs> when you're on, like, ice blocks that are rotating, if you get, like, stuck flutter kicking... Oh man, I need eggs, so I gotta go back. Yeah. As I was saying, when you get like fl stuck flutter kicking on like... Like, I, c I probably won't be able to get it to happen. Well, cause, mainly because it wouldn't even be able to happen at all on these blocks, I wouldn't imagine. But, oh, damn, I have to get everything again. Now, screw it, let's just skip. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, uh, you're not getting me again. <laughs> yeah, when you get, like, on a diagonal piece of ice while you're flutter kicking yet like stuck there which is really it's like hard to explain unless you see it and I don't think we're gonna see it so there's not much point me bringing it up here but I figured I'd just mention it 
because it is really annoying, and it's like probably the one like annoyance I have with the controls in this game. Now, it's not really a control issue, it's sort of just, you know, annoying. Now here, this is pretty stingy, like you could see it easily here, but say you were around like here, when you hit that mystery block, you wouldn't see the beads that spawn backwards, so you'd miss that one stamp. That one stamp, that, oh, that's an annoying one. We're actually almost, we're actually getting close to the end of this level. Yeah, it's not a long level. It's just one of those short and fun ones. Although, you know, if you didn't enter from the top, you'd most likely miss this and a, oh shit. That, <laughs> I was going to say, what would happen there? I was frozen when I went through the flower. So what, would I have like spawned frozen? No, I don't think that would have happened. But, um, <laughs> still pretty interesting either way. Yeah, I remember I died here a lot when I first did this. I don't see. I don't know what's so hard about it. You just kind of. Well, I suppose you gotta know that stuff is falling, and it's probably smart to shoot for that flower. And there's three stamps like right there, like three, so close to each other. You can like, never see that. And there's the last flower is right here. Yeah. So there's a lot of collectibles like really clumped together in this level. Now I, I have 20. Good, because I mean there is. You know there is a mystery cloud of hearts here, but I don't have an egg to throw at it, so there's not really much I can do about that. Now, the boss. I am prepared. Oh, well, this boss is actually isn't too hard. In fact, it's probably easier to do this boss rather than the World 5's boss. I, four. That's the second time I've done this episode without getting hit. E you! You're getting on my nerves! What's up? <laughs> Hey, you in the parker. This isn't a parker. Wait, right, here it is. <laughs> Send this Yoshi back to the Ice Age. They they totally said that together. That's why I like changed voices in the middle there. <laughs> I really like the wood effect on its like face there. Well, it's kind of weird. Does that is that like saying that um sniffits are, are like wood? <laughs> you know, this actually reminds me. Whoa, you see how close that was? A lot of the boss, what well, is a boss in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze that sends out um like ice cubes exactly like that. All right. So unlike unlike you know the previous bosses, it it would actually be a wise thing to bring eggs into this one because otherwise you, you can get it done a lot quicker if you have eggs. You can just like hit him down twice and really quickly, and you don't have to wait for him to spit out more sniffits or they shy guys. I can't remember. <laughs> to wait to hit him. So yeah, this is, this is one of those bosses you can cheat, I guess. But apart from that, it's not really too hard. You know, you just kind of dodge things a bit. Well, you gotta watch out for those. I'm pretty sure they were shy guys. Yeah, you gotta watch out for them in the sky. And he's like doing this. Like, yeah, this is, this is, you know, this is, this isn't even uncanny. This is exactly what that one polar bear boss in Tropical Freeze does. <laughs> So, did they copy them, or did they just not know that they were copying him, or them? Because it is exactly the same, and they're on the same console, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I have three eggs, are we good? Off you go. <laughs> it's like, Jam, if you, if you weren't there, I'd be ground pounding onto the spike, so it's a good thing you're there to uh, soften my blow. Or <laughs> oh, you took the fall for me. <laughs> Alright, only one more hit left. <laughs> Yeah, the, another problem, well, it's not really a problem, but an annoying thing about this boss is, you know, he only gives you three Shy Guys, and you need three eggs to knock him over, so if you miss one or you hit him with one too early, you can't really, like, the other two eggs are useless, because you need, like, you know, a number that divides perfectly by three to damage him, so two is useless, unless you were to, mi uh, to miss another two, so it evens out. <laughs> But that's probably not going to happen, unless, you know, you're really not paying that much attention. Or, or you know, or he gives you five. Because <laughs> that five... Oh, shit. Oh. Uh. Uh. oh, well. Just another off-screen playthrough for me. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, as you saw, that that's not too hard. It's just, it drags on a bit. And he copies that one from Tr Tropical Freeze, but it's still a pretty fun boss. 
Yeah, we got everything except for hearts. Hey, can I quickly go out and get those hearts before this level? No, okay. okay. Pile up to six and get ready to skip. Yeah, ex that's exactly what I was just talking about. Thank you for re reiterating me, me versus post. <laughs> Alright, alright, what? Well, we already know what we got. Oh, and we also got the, the watermelon one for ice. Not that... It's kind of weird they give you that to you now, because you'd think they'd give you that while you were using the ice watermelons, but we haven't really, well, we already, yeah, we already used that, didn't we? Yeah, in that blog level, so it's kind of late. So we got a um, Yoshi that's off the boss's design. Wouldn't it suck to be that Yoshi? <laughs> like, to look like an enemy, wouldn't you? You'd always be getting confused, because it's, it's not like he dressed up like that. That is that Yoshi. Alright, Kamek, you've got nowhere else to run. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go hide in the drawer, huh? <laughs> right, cow before my might. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the, <laughs> the bad guy. Oh, I should have known. The bad guy's lair is in a drawer. <laughs> uh, I, I get to say all the dumb stuff during this Let's Play. But yeah, World 6 is actually in a drawer. And you go in the drawer, and it's actually a world. And you come out of the drawer, and. There's the last level there, 6-8, so you can actually see it, which is pretty cool. But we're not done with World 5-5 yet, we got the S level, which we'll do next time. And we're not going in here yet, because I'm going to cliffhang you guys as to what this looks like. Because <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time.